All right, welcome back to the homestead, guys. Uh, got the little Troy built Super Bronco out today, and uh, we're gonna see if it lives up to its name, which I already know it doesn't. But um, anyway, I got the garden planted a few weeks ago. Um, I got some pumpkins done on this end. Um, they're doing pretty good. And then over here, I got some summer squash, some zucchinis. Um, I hope that's that white. I hope it's not powdery mildew. I don't think it is. Can't imagine they'd. Usually, they get that in the fall when it's like kind of you get the dew and the cold at night, and that's when they usually get the powdery mildew. But um, anyway, I got peppers over here. Got tomatoes. Uh, didn't do a whole lot. I got one eggplant. Last year, I just, I ended up with so much, um, so many like tomatoes and peppers and everything. I felt like I, pickles or cucumbers, I felt like I needed to pickle and can and make all sorts of sauce. And I just, it took up way too much time. I don't really want to be doing that all fall. I got a lot of stuff to get ready for deer season at that point in time. And just, I don't know. Not, too many things to do and not enough time. So anyway, what we're out here tonight doing is um, going to knock back some of these weeds. As you can see, they're growing up pretty good. And uh, um, essentially what we're doing is just tilling again and cultivating. And honestly, you want to avoid tilling, um, you know, if you can, as much as possible. Just it does kind of, it's not great for your soil. Um but, you know, a lot of guys are doing, like, no-till crops and stuff like that, corn and everything. And, you know, to do no-till, then you got to spray Roundup and everything on it. That's really not good either. So, um, I put enough biomass and stuff in every year from um, the pasture, you know, manure, whatever, leaves from around here, grass clippings. Um, actually, uh, I'm going to start putting grass cl clippings around some of these plants to try to keep the weeds down too after i get this done but uh let's till this uh cultivated i guess you'd call it it's already been tilled so we're really just cultivating now and um we'll go around all the plants and see what it looks like work came up and he uh, tilled this garden for me this spring which was a big help because it took him like two minutes with his four foot tiller behind his little Kubota he already had it on his trailer he's like hey I'll swing up and I'll till it up for you normally in the springtime you know this gets compacted over winter you might have to go over it three or four times before it's ready to plant but with his it made real short work of uh, towing this thing. So I appreciated that. The one thing I don't like about this tiller is it's forward tying. I would rather have it reverse tying. Um, and then you got the drive wheels that pull you forward but it just breaks the soil up that much better. This, this one you almost have to, if you really let it dig in there, you gotta like hold it, hold it back. And it can be like a chore at some time. Especially if you hit a solid, 
chunk of dirt or suction almost wants to take off on you. That's all we're doing tonight. The drive belt, or the, I guess it'd be the drive belt, jumped off that shiv there, or it broke, I'm not sure which. I'm not sure how well you can see that. So, I guess we'll uh, pull it back in the shop and fix that. All right, let's fix this piece of junk. I wonder if there's a way to get that back on there without popping everything off that shaft, that pulley, belt shove, whatever you want to call it. I don't know why that jumped off though. This is just getting old. Screw it. I'm just going to take that pulley off the front and be done with it. Maybe that's enough, let me see here. That's gotta come all the way off, unfortunately. on and lined up. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'll give you any room to work with. Spin the pulley till that key is lined up with the shaft or the keyway, I should say, on the pulley. Should be good. Crank her down. All right, I wanna. Now I'm gonna put a slot in this so this can pop right off because I'd like to leave that off. There's really nothing, no sense in having it on there. You know, it's obviously to keep people from sticking their hand in there, but I'm not gonna stick my hand in there when it's running. And I'd like to see why it's popping off. So I'm gonna go get my oscillating tool and just make a notch in that, pop that off. No, it's not gonna start, is it? Just try it with the choke on a little bit. bucks I could get out of it towards a, a three-point tiller but you can't get around plants like this with a three-point and there it goes it popped off again
you know what? I said screw it. I'm just gonna freaking use the hoe. Probably take like 20 minutes. By the time I go down by a belt, put it on, thing will probably pop off again and just piss me off. So we'll do it the old fashioned way. All right, well that wasn't too bad. Um, <clears throat> I got everything kind of cultivated up. You know, pulled these weeds out basically is what you're doing. And even though the roots are coming out of the dirt, these things will, you know, that's why they call them weeds. They'll just take root and they'll be back in another couple weeks. But what it does, is it buys like the pumpkin plants and my squash plants it buys them time to get bigger before um weeds start overtaking them so i might have to do this a couple more times before everything spreads out like on this end these pumpkins will get huge squash will you know bush out pretty good um you know it's just something you got to keep after but this will give everything a good chance. Uh, I could go through here and pick some rocks. I picked a bunch last year, but we grow rocks up here and um, probably have to do it for many years to come. Uh, but uh, that's the extent of this project. Um, Really don't have any plan to fix this at the moment. I'll pull it back in the garage and uh, when I do fix it, we'll do a video. But um, this thing can sit out here for a week or two and think about how it's been acting. That's how you end up in the scrap pile, bud.